Hi, it's Houston Singletary. Today we're going to take you through Ableton Live 7 and setting it up to work with Reason from Propeller Heads. So basically I'm going to build a template here in Ableton Live and show you how we can rewire Reason inside Live 7 to get a really good workflow going. So first things first, let's look at some of these tracks I've already sort of pre-arranged here. I've got uh, track one is Redrum, as you can see, track two, Thor, combinator right next to that as we go down the line you can see these are familiar instruments that are available inside reason i'm going to be using reason 4 for this demo as well and rewire so let's go ahead and talk about one of the new features in live 7 that makes working with rewire really really cool and very simple let's go ahead and double click on the first track which i've titled redrum this will bring up our detail view down below and show us our devices and you can see that i've got external instrument got compressor right next to it and then another compressor next to that let's go ahead and take out that second one now let's talk about external instrument for a second I got that up here in our device browser under instruments you can see I have a pull down window here my chooser here I've got external instrument device and I simply click that or drag it into track number one which I've done The external instrument device is a routing utility that allows you to easily integrate external hardware synthesizers, rewire devices, and multi-turbo plugins into your projects. It sends MIDI out and returns audio. If you're routing to a rewire slave, the audio from Chooser will list all of the audio channels available in the slave. Select the audio channel that corresponds to the instrument to which you're sending MIDI. The gain knob adjusts the audio level coming back from the sound source. So, let's get started. Let's go ahead and launch Reason. Go over here to my dock and I'll launch Reason 4. Now, what will happen is Reason will launch, open up as a rewire slave device. And you can see that I've got Reason 4 opened up. And for some of you who are new to Reason, or even those who use it, you may see this as a somewhat unique setup here. But the most important factor for starters is the hardware device, which is right up top. I'll open that up. This is what connects all the separate devices, effects, and instruments and reason to Ableton through Rewire. Let's go ahead and flip that around with the tab key. You can see the cables are connected from all the different devices and instruments directly into the hardware device. Okay, and these in turn, if we go over here to Ableton Live 7, show up right here. So it's a really great way to work. Okay, here's some basic steps you need to remember for setting up Ableton Live to work in Rewire. With the external instrument, notice that each one of the tracks that I have labeled above correspond with an external instrument plugin that I put on each track inside the detail view down below. So if I click on Redrum, you see the external instrument assigned to that track. I have MIDI to Reason. I have my sub chooser set to Redrum. And I've got my audio from set to the one and two out, out of the back of the external device inside Reason. So it all matches up. Watch what happens when we go to Thor on track two. Same thing, MIDI to Reason, sub chooser for Thor, audio out three and four. Again, very important. Combinator, same thing. We just move down the line. So we've got an external instrument device set up for every track that we have a Reason instrument on. Again, selecting the different instruments, devices that are set up in Reason that I've preset already, which is a good idea just to sort of make a preset Reason template. 